Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. So this is a set in 148 scale and it should be handy with their Mustang aircraft, it's a P-51 D5 and you can see that we have a Brassin set, it copies cockpit for this aircraft and this is a commercial sample, it's a kit number 648-489 and you will get exactly the same stuff as which will see in this video review. So first of all packaging here is standard for this brand. You can see that we have a, a small picture of the 3D let's say model assembled but not painted and also on the side you can see barcode and price of this kit. It should be approximately 40 euros and here on the rear side we have some information about this brand and also that this is not a toy and on the opposite side there are some safety advices again. So again, box size is standard for this type of kit from Edward, but now I'm going to open it and we will take a closer look together in order to understand what is included inside and what will be actually copied with this kit. So inside here, oh, what is that? That's the first time I see um, this foam literally wrapped around the parts, but obviously it is present from both sides, I mean from top and bottom. And we have three plastic Ziploc bags, we also have assembly manual, but we will talk about it a bit later. First I would like to start with Ziploc bags, we are going to check this, let's say big parts first, and then we gradually move to the smaller one. Well, these ones are also not that huge, so for example here you can see some pipings, and frankly speaking I'm not sure how to uh, where they will be placed but it's still quite interesting because all these elements are not present in the original plastic even though original plastic is quite detailed for example here you can see this frame for the I guess that's for the rear radio station correct me if I'm wrong but it's really thin part, you can see it with your own eyes, so it will require some due care in order to uh, carefully install it on your aircraft. That's a control stick, which is also quite small. I guess we can zoom in a bit so that it will be even closer to you. Here we have some equipment which will be placed on the cockpit walls. And note how this pre-molded or pre-casted details look like. They look really impressive. Next we continue with various minor items for the cockpit. Again, there is nothing to complain about, in my opinion they look really good. And of course these big parts for the cockpit walls. As you can see there are a lot of small, let's say, installation points where you have to glue in the separate parts, but that's really cool that we have them. Uh, some features are pre-molded and here you can see that they are quite, no, I would say, plain from the other side and they are also thin. So they should be compatible with original plastic and I really doubt that there will be a lot of modifications needed. Next we continue with a second plastic bag. Here we have, as I said, smaller parts and note that they're coming in a different colored resin. So for example here we have some of the radio equipment as far as I can guess. It will be placed behind the pilot. Next we continue with well, this ones I am not sure, so we will have to check the assembly manual. But as you can see, we have two versions, so I guess there are different generations covered. Here we continue with Cockpit 4. And again, these pre-casted details, they were good and they deserve, I guess, the careful painting and weathering in order to bring out all the features which are present there. Next, we continue with this small part that's the center console and also here we have the special spar which will be placed on the bottom. Next we have pilot seat. This one is casted as a single piece part and here you can see that we have this back pad pre-casted. Seat belts are separate but it looks really impressive. Let's not forget that this is a 148 scale set and you get all this stuff out of the box. You don't have to spend anything extra. Well, <laughs> you have to buy this kit. But in my opinion, what you get here, here you can see by the way the armor shield for the pilot seat. And as I said, everything what you get here is really impressive and if you plan to open the cockpit definitely consider getting this kit because it will make the noticeable difference and here, for example, you can see the instrument panel. I can bet that there are also P parts which will be replacing it, but who knows, maybe not. 
because as far as I can see, P fret is not that big, so I guess you'll have to use the resin dashboard or instrument panel here. We continue with rudder pedals, they're also good looking. Okay. And last but not the least is another version of the pilot seat. So we are having two types of the cockpit parts for the pilot seat and for the uh, central console. So that's really cool because it will help you cover different versions of this famous aircraft. Next I'm opening another plastic bag here. We have the decal sheet and also PE fret. So maybe I will show the PE fret first. So here it is. You can see that we have seat belts and we also have some minor elements such as handles and as far as you can see levers are also here and frankly speaking I'm not sure if this is steel because it's not written here and as you can see it's not as thin as their steel products so I guess that's the let's say normal P but it's also good it's pre-painted so it will be a nice looking thing once you install it into the cockpit but that's not all because you might wonder where are the dials for the instrument panel and for the other gauges so here you can see them we also have various stencils copied as a decals obviously decals are printed in Edward so you shouldn't be worried about any quality issues and in my opinion they look really nice so it's just a matter of careful application and of course not installing them upside down as sometimes happens with us next we continue with assembly manual so as you remember it was on the top and it is printed in form of typical brushing brochure so I guess if you had some let's say previous brushing builds you won't be surprised here but here on the first page we have a so let's say parts map of what is included into this kit and I'm not sure where is the film because as you can see there is also should be a film so I guess I missed it yeah I missed it so here it is the small film which will be used for the target side huh you see that's why parts map are really handy in order to see all the stuff which should be inside so we start well layout of this bursting manuals is quite interesting as you can see I removed the middle part and we check the first steps so first we start with modifying the original plastic parts and of course let's say deciding which version of the cockpit you would like to choose so definitely consult with some references because you will have to know which pilot seat to use in your model but as you can see both are will be really detailed and we have options on the options so <laughs> that's really cool and next we continue with next page so here you have to detail a bit the uh, cockpit floor also you have to install various equipment and pilot seat next you continue with the fuel tank which will be installed behind the pilot seat and of course here you can see that you will have to use your own metal wire so be ready for that get some let's say material for this here you can see the cockpit walls details again we install various metal wires for the radio equipment and here you can see the cow application guide because as I said we have stencils and various gauges copied with help of decals so that was the step number seven and here and I think eight here we have step number nine so as you can see we continue with an opposite side or opposite cockpit wall. Next you have to decide which um, instrument panel you use. As you can see there is a special part for bazookas. So again consult with your references. Next as far as you can see we install the rudder pedals and we assemble the target site with help of this clear film. And here you can see final assembly steps so first you join cockpit walls together and then you install this sub assembly into the fuselage halves so basically as far as you can see here you won't have to modify standard fuselage walls and that's really cool by the way this bar was uh, let's say designed for use with a canopy not with the floor as i thought and that's really cool that it goes straight into the standard fuselage so you won't have to worry about let's say dry fitting these parts well definitely check it but I don't think you will have any issues here by the way we have another parts map and colors chart and again 
price is 40 euros but in my opinion this kit is completely let's say justifying its own price and it's really good I don't know if especially if you plan to build a detailed Mustang in 148 scale with open cockpit so of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye